Hello, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to make a fried oyster mushroom salad. In this recipe, we fry oyster and king oyster mushrooms in a light crispy batter and serve them with a spicy and sour ground pork dressing. If you love mushrooms but are bored of the same old recipes, give this salad a try. This will make enough for about two portions and should only take about 25 minutes to make from scratch. So on screen now the ingredients. As always, a full list of the ingredients is available on our blog post. A link to that's in the description box just below this video. Okay, so let's get started. Begin by adding two and a half tablespoons of all-purpose flour to a mixing bowl, along with a hint of ground pepper and a hint of salt. Briefly stir together, then slowly pour in two and a half tablespoons of cold water whilst stirring. Once the batter is smooth and free of lumps, add one egg and mix in with the batter. Next, cut the oyster and king oyster mushrooms into bite-sized pieces and add them to the batter. Mix them thoroughly in the batter so that all of the mushroom pieces are coated. Then deep fry them until golden brown and then set them aside. Now we need to make the dressing, so add 100 grams of minced pork to a saucepan and break it down and dry fry it for about 30 seconds. Then add in a quarter cup of water and continue frying. Once the pork starts to dry out, add the final one quarter cup of water and stir and fry it until the pork is cooked. Then pour the pork along with all of the juice into a bowl. Then add in three tablespoons of lime juice, two tablespoons of fish sauce, four chopped bird eye chilies, one tablespoon of sugar, two sliced shallots, and half a cup of celery leaf. Mix the dressing thoroughly, then serve with the fried mushrooms and enjoy. And that's all there is to it. We hope you enjoyed this oyster mushroom salad recipe. If you have any questions about the recipe, just leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And if you'd like to see lots more Thai and Asian inspired recipes, do subscribe to our channel. We've got lots more recipes still to come. So thanks once again for watching and hopefully we'll see you again on a future video.